What is up everyone? It is 1.0 and we are back with yet another unboxing. I know, only unboxing on this channel. <laughs> but that's only because I don't have any, any time for any other type of videos, unfortunately. But we have unboxing of Gatling Dragon. And this comes with the D gear, which is for meant for Divine Belial. It also works with the regular, with both Dangerous and uh, Dynamite Belial, but it's more tailored for Divine Belial. Now, from box, back to box, I'm not gonna go too much into detail simply because I'm gonna be opening this either way. So, let's open this up. Let's see. Gatling Dragon. Awesome, dude. Dude, Gatling Dragon. My boy Drum, you finally got an evolution in Dynamite Belial. I mean, in Dynamite Battle, or, or I guess technically Burst Ultimate, because I can't believe that that Dynamite Battle was the only season that didn't make all the previous protagonists return. That's very disappointing. But anyways, let's just uh, take everything out of the bag and let's take a look at the stuff, including the D gear. Let's look at the D gear first. Um, and then, oh, before, before the D gear, I want to address this. These rainbow looking ziggers are so ugly. Like, oh my God, this is, I don't mind these blue stickers. I think the blue will look very, will look fine on Gatling Dragon. But these rainbow stickers are so ugly. Like, why so much color, you know? Like, rule 101 of, of, of painting, of coloring. You, just because you have all the colors available, doesn't mean you should use them. Because it's gonna make things look really, really weird. It's gonna look really gross. Because no consistencies. Because if we take, for example, this. Chain Cabayas, you know? A nice, simple color palette. It works. It works because it's consistent. But if we have something like this, like this, it's not visually appealing because there's just too many colors. There's no, there's no uh, tie-in. You know, I guess kind of I screwed up because it's blue and blue, so that kind of ties in together. But you know, there's just too many colors for it to make sense whatsoever. Which is why I like Lana boosters because they usually have consistent colors. They give more color options but geez these stickers are very very ugly i don't like the rainbow stickers uh i'm not I'm like if you like them that's that's you but me personally i find these rainbow stickers very ugly like what the hell but something to know is very cool easter egg is that right there it says gt uh, in remembrance of season four which obviously was baby bird gt which was when drum and dragon made their first tribute but and also the rainbow stickers are supposed to be uh, a reference to uh master dragon which was uh the combination of master devilos and Imperial dragon in the final battle against gwen reynolds and clips genesis or uh big bang genesis you know that was a cool concept and all but it didn't even look good in the anime so I have not a clue why they decided to let's make this a thing. You know, that looks very, very ugly. Um, I'm sorry if you like them because that's just you. But me, personally, as a person, as an artist, as a writer, that looks ugly. <laughs> that just looks straight up ugly. Anyways, uh, we have the geek gear, which is for Divine um, Belial. Or more specifically, the Nexus disc, uh, which I, I of course don't have a Nexus disc on me. But pretty much is that what makes this one and the S gear different is that this one is only supposed to be put in one way, which I think is this way. And it's supposed to have like a kind of this free spinning bound gimmick or whatever. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Uh, but it is still pretty cool and I like the reference to the steam disc which came originally on the original dragon so i'm i'm gonna give this one a pass and also it's in a very cool translucent blue so i don't need, i don't mind it you know i really like it unlike this that this ugly ass stickers that is 
I don't know what they were thinking when they decided, hey, let's make some um, rainbow stickers. Yeah, that'll be fine. Oh, yeah, that's, that's so disgusting. Anyways, we have these charged metal dash, which it looks just, <laughs> just absolutely insane. Just the amount of metal that this thing has. Um, it's a hollow flat, uh, so kind of like Zephyr, except metal and a lot of it. It's not as heavy as I thought it would be, honestly, but it is still pretty heavy. It's bottom heavy, and it uh, has a pretty decent, pretty, pretty good dash driver. Yeah, pretty unstable, pretty cool. I very liked it. Uh, it's in similar colors to that, and then the similar colors to that, and then the colors to that. This is very cool driver. I very much like it. I kind of would have wished it wasn't the blue of the original charge driver, but you know what? It's fine. It's, it's fine either way. Next up, we have the Karma disc, which originally came with Longinus, and I think they put Karma just to kind of give an homage to the fact that in Sparking, uh, Louis and Drum became pretty, uh, I would say, pretty decently good friends. Uh, teaming up multiple times and stuff. It was very nice to see those two uh, like battle alongside one another and it just shows us how much Louis has changed as a person because he went from vote you're a horrible person, you're a horrible later, you suck, I'm the best to a hey, drum, you may not be as good as I am but you know what, let's do this, you know. It's, it's pretty cool. I like I like to see that type of character development. Um, but yeah, the Karma Disc, uh, decent. I wouldn't say best, wouldn't say worst. Decent, acceptable, passable. But <laughs> let's be honest, we're all here for one thing and one thing only. And that is this, this bad boy, Gatling Dragon. And I cannot get this out. Oh, there we go, finally. Now let's look at the armor first. It is the 10 armor, which came on Phoenix, on Buhamud. A couple other ones. It's a good armor, so I'm not complaining. Uh, also came with. It came with the recolor of Chain Ragnarok. So that's pretty cool. We have a lot of these armors at this point, but it's still a decently good armor. So I'm not. I'm not gonna complain too much about that. Uh, we have the. I want to look over at the chip first before the ring. It's gonna be like the chip isn't as exciting as the Gatling uh, ring. But it is pretty much just Valkyrie made a tiny bit different. I'm not even gonna say better or worse because I only don't know if this would be better or worse. And the reason I'm saying that is that it has just one more click, but in order to get that extra click, it's not as bound like as as Valkyrie. Now, like this one, it extends to around halfway point. If I'm correct, for Gatling, it's only like there, but we'll have to wait and see, you know. I don't know if the bound on Dragon will be useful at all, but there's really only one way to find out, and that is by testing. But in order to do testing, we gotta first look at this, the Gatling ring, and look, look, consistent colors, blue, yellow, some gold, and the hint of red, consistency, good colors. This monstrosity, what the fuck? That is, no one should, should no one deserves to feel, to go through that pain. Mm -mm. So the gimmick with this one is pretty cool, very interesting. I don't know how effective it would be, but in this, like this, it's all white, you know, it's, uh, it's locked, you know, it's supposed to be a, I don't know it's stronger, but it's only supposed to be a, a bit more heavier, I think, in impact. However, when these two get pushed in, you know, now these, like, if this gets pushed in, this is now able to move. And that's supposed to give it some more consistent attacks, so like a bound-like attack, kind of like on Tempest. I don't have Tempest, so I don't know how good or bad that this gimmick is, so it's going to be very interesting to see how... How well it plays out uh, for Gatling, and I think uh, at least I don't know if this is just for my Gatling, but I think that this is going to be activated pretty often because 
the ads don't have all that much resistance for the better or for the worse it's not that all that resistant however one thing to know is that in high mode these will stay locked they will not move whatsoever and i forgot to look at the camera uh yeah these won't move in high mode but in no mode that's when the game activates so let's put this together and see the base see how good the teeth are and stuff oh gosh yep definitely strong clicks very cool very very big honestly like damn like just look at that you know uh, something like uh Cabez. yeah pretty big uh galling is <laughs> definitely big but ooh. Okay, so it's not, yeah, it's not as bound like as Valkyrie. Maybe it's a bit better. Maybe. I don't know. Don't call me on that. But it is very different. Because if we look at here, it gets to uh, one quarter of the way. Almost to halfway, but not quite. But this, it, get, it definitely gets halfway. Definitely halfway. So it's just a tiny bit less bound than Valkyrie. But it's more teeth. So it's like pick your poison. Do you want do you want more teeth or more bound like stuff? You know, um, maybe for attack the smaller bound is better, but for defense, I think larger bound will definitely be better. We're here at the arena to test out Jet Li Dragon. Fast launch time. Three, two, one, go! Shoot! Considering out the driver's metal and it's very heavy. Yeah, I think it's gonna be pretty good. Let's, but only one way to see. Its first opponent will be Cyclone Ragnarok. Ready and set. Three, two, one, go shoot. Go shoot. Cyclone's also about to stop. He's gonna win. It's gonna be Jetling Dragon. Its next opponent, Vanish Fafnir. Ready and set. Three, two, one, go, shoot. Go, shoot. Really good, really good hit, I should say. Ooh, time is gonna push around. I've been not letting up. The winner is Vanish Fafnir. Ready and set. Three, two, one, go shoot. Go shoot. Oh, it just got saved. Yeah, 
Maraming sweating gun and Wisconsin the attacking family. Family heading up. Family is losing a lot of stamina. What is Fafnir? Fafnir takes it once again. So it looks like Gatling is a really good attack type. However, against a bay like Fafnir, it's gonna have it's gonna really struggle just because of how good Fafnir is. But one thing to note is that the uh these red parts do come out pretty often. Um, I don't know if these are on all the Gatlings, I'm pretty sure it's just on my mode, but this one in particular is really new. It's it, it's uh, it activates pretty much guaranteed every single battle. However, this one's a bit more resistant, but even then, not by much. So you're more than likely to activate the bound attack um, in almost every single battle. Whether that's a good or a bad thing, uh, I'm gonna have to do a, a couple more testing to figure that out. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I sure enjoyed making these videos. So if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and share this video. Turn on notifications. And if you want to get your own baby to back with or other stuff, go with me in the description because that is a, will be the link for the eBay shop, which is an optional way to support the channel. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And my name is Wonton and until next time, bye!